What's going on guys, Big Deuce Trove here, back at it with Pokemon Coliseum, episode 40. This is pretty much the penultimum, if I'm saying that word right, I don't, probably I'm not. This is probably the second to last video of the story of Pokemon Coliseum. I mean, we're not done with the playthrough, uh, next video. We still have other Shadow Pokemon to get, but this is pretty much where we stop Cypher. Right here at Railgum Tower. Um, this is like kind of a Colosseum setting, but really it's not. I don't know. It, it's kind of weird. And I'm guessing all these members in the crowd are part of Cypher. What kept you, Avery? I worried that perhaps Gonsap had beaten you. The time has come for you to pay off some debts. We'll have you battle as payment towards the huge losses you inflicted on us. I expect to see spectacular battling out of you. After all, you're here to entertain. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty much like a, just a coliseum, but not really at the exact same time. A big crowd like this, it is a little intimidating. I don't want to be embarrassed here, so I'll battle to win. So each of these trainers that we're going to be battling, spoiler alert, work for Cypher, or have some connection with Cypher, and of course they also have a Shadow Pokemon as well. And if you, if you win without capturing the Shadow Pokemon, of course you can get them later on in the game, which I'll show you later on. Or you can just purposefully lose and retry this, these battles over again. Meltank, the Melk Cow Pokemon. Yeah, let your imaginations run wild with this Pokemon. Its stats are HP 95, Attack 80, Defense 105, Special Attack 40, Special Defense 70, and Speed 100. This Pokemon, really, really bulky Pokemon in defense. Meltank has the ability Thick Fat. Thick Fat reduces the damage taken from Fire type and Ice type moves by 50%. Interestingly, many Pokemon possessing this ability already take reduced damage from those types. Meltank is a normal type Pokemon. It's weak to fighting, not strong against anything, immune to ghosts, and cannot damage ghosts. Once Meltank is purified, it learns the four moves: Milk Drink, Defense Curl, Rollout, and Body Slam. Meltank to me, yeah, he's a cool Pokemon and all. I hated the gym battle. I Against Whitney was her name, I believe, and Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Motank, cool Pokemon, way too late in the game to even consider it as a team member. But if it was earlier in the game, yeah, Motank would probably replace Heracross. One. Uh, okay, I, I didn't think it was going to. Uh, this is a problem. I'm so high level now, I'm afraid to even try to attack them. Even with my weakest attacks, I might make them faint. So now I'm a little paranoid, and I should have probably brought one Pokemon that was kind of matching their level. Maybe a Shadow Pokemon to try and capture these. I don't know. We'll give it a try. I'll have Espeon use Return on them, and then Ampharos will... Uh, on his turn, I'll use a Snag Ball. One. Ah, oh, okay. Please don't faint, please don't faint. Oh, yeah, okay, that's not bad at all. Alright. And, of course, here we go, roll out. And I'll just call Ampharos. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's, that shouldn't be bad. I'm just afraid of it using like Shadow Rush and then it, it gets hit with major recoil. Let me do it one more time, but let me also try and capture it as well in the exact same turn. Because paralysis and it being paralyzed shouldn't take that long. One. Ah, come on. Ah, 
All right, that should be good now. Uh, maybe I can tag it one more time. I, I just don't want to get a critical and it fades. That's the thing. And whoa, okay. Um, all right, that's. No, that's not how this is gonna go. Uh, how does the rollout get stronger each turn? I don't understand that. Like, what is going on? Uh, Milk Tank is... Um, uh... No? Wait, how, how is that possible? How is it taking it off more health? <clears throat> I'm not really a big fan of Milk Tank, honestly. I just... Uh, I don't... I just think of Wendy back in Generation 2, and I'm just like, geez, kill me now. Because that was a terrible battle. One. Dude, are you kidding me? One. Two. One. Two. Three. One, two, three, finally, thank gosh, about time. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that was so difficult to catch. What? That wasn't supposed to happen. What do you think was supposed to happen? You winning? Because that's obviously never going to happen. Hopefully the other ones are a bit easier to capture. My turn next. See, and this is the thing as well. After, like, you don't... Your Pokemon aren't healed. I'm pretty sure about that. I think you... Like, for example, I'm going to have to revive Espeon. Yep. Ampharos and Flygon. I'm going to have to revive and heal up Espeon. And Ampharos is still paralyzed from last battle, so... Oh, there's a Shadow Pokemon. Absol, the disaster Pokemon. Honestly, I didn't know it was called that. That's kind of a weird name for it. But anyway, its HP is 65, attack 130, defense 60, special attack 75, special defense 60, and speed 75. I never noticed about Absol's attack stat. That thing is huge. Holy cow. Huge, huge, huge attack stat. Anyway, it learns the ability Pressure. Pressure makes any attack targeted at the ability barrier. Ability bar Barrier, gosh, I can't even say that word. Regardless of whether it hits, it uses 2 PP instead of 1. Absol is a dark type Pokemon. It's weak to fighting and bug, strong against ghosts and psychic, immune to psychic, and he can damage everything. Once Absol is purified, he learns the four moves. Perish Song, Swords Dance, Slash, and Faint Attack. Absol to me has always been that Pokemon that's popular, and I kind of don't get why it's popular. Yeah, it's cool design, and it's mega evolution, is eh, it's okay design actually the mega evolution is all right so we're going to, have to work fast on getting this absol because i was not expecting absol to be trapped in flygon's sand tomb that was not my goal at all for that mighty and a dark type pokemon and has the ability intimidate Okay, that's not that much damage being taken out, but still. Let me Thunder Wave, let me Paralyze Absol, and then let me... Let me go after Mighty Anna with Flygon. Come on, Mighty Anna, smell his breath. Smell it. Smell it. Oh, uh, okay, and then I don't like how he, he keeps using Shadow Rush either. It's like, uh... It's hit with recoil, so like I said, like we're gonna have to be quick. Oh, okay, Flygon's out. They went straight for him. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, let me bring in, let me bring in Mistravius, just in case I have to use Pain Split for Absol to save it a little bit. Oh, thanks. Shadow Ball should affect Mightyena. 
Okay, yeah, it does. It not not that much though. Oh come on, don't attack Miss Javius. Dude, Amphros, I really need you, dude. I really, really need you. Right about now. Any time would be great for you, Amphros. One. Finally, thank you. Be easier for us to capture now. Slightly easier, I would say. But let me also remind you, that's how powerful Shadow Pokemon are. Like, Mischievous was level 58, Flygon was le level 56, and Absol just kept putting rounds into them. Maybe Shadow Pokemon are a little too powerful in my opinion. Maybe slightly a little too powerful. Cause that was a lot of HP Absol took out of them. One, two, three. Oh my gosh! Wow, that was really quick. Actually, more faster than Milk Tank. Thank God. Whew! All right, third. I think there's a there's a total of four. I heard about you, but you were much more than I expected. I love how Yuki's just looking right at me. Like, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did it. Yeah, there should only be this person and one more. Those are some high heels, my friend. You must be Avery. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Don't you think it's a great honor to battle on this fabulous stage? I'm going to beat you and earn my promotion to an admin. Alright, what's your name? Admin Nella. Now, that doesn't really make any sense. Save for Peon, Nellis, and now Houndoom, Fire and Dark, and Torquoil, Fire type. Oh, there's a Shadow Pokemon. Houndoom, the Dark Pokemon. It's kind of fitting since it kind of looks like a Devil Dog. Anyway, its stats are. HP 35, attack at 90, defense 50, special attack 110, special defense 80, and speed 95. Speed and special attack stats, pretty high up. Defense 50, that is terrible, 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 terrible. It knows the ability, early bird, the effect, the Pokemon awakens quickly from sleep. And yes, Houndoom does, my goodness gracious. Houndoom is dark and fire type Pokemon. He is weak to fighting ground, rock, and water. Strong against bug, ghost, steel, grass, psychic, and ice. Immune to psychic, and he can damage everything. Once Houndoom is purified, he learns the four moves. Faint attack, house, smog, and flamethrower. Houndoom is a really cool Pokemon. It's just one of those instant instances where it's just too late in the game, and I don't really have time to train it up, and I really don't want to since it's just late in the game. So Houndoom would not be on our, on our team, unfortunately. Earlier in the game? Oh yeah, definitely. Alright, so with Espeon taking out all the Shadow Pokemon, this should be an easier kind of... Uh, makes more sense to kind of just corner Houndoom here to take him out. Houndoom is also Dark type, like I mentioned before a couple times now. Um, so he can easily take out Espeon. So I, ha I have to make, make sure I'm... I have to make sure Espeon's okay and I'm not in trouble. Let me keep throwing Ultra Balls at it. I'm going to have Espeon use Return, so it won't take that much damage, hopefully. Knock on wood. One. Ah, okay. I love how I can catch a Legendary Beast with one Ultra Ball, but I can't even catch a... Oh, okay. Um, 
No. Oh gosh, please don't, please. Oh, we gotta be quick. We have to be quick. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, nobody attack. Nobody attack. That, <laughs> that scared me. I was like, oh no, what am I doing? All right, this this should be easy catch though. This should be right here, right here, right here, right now should be easy catch. One. Uh, okay, that's BS. How? Oh, okay. I might have to revive Miss Javius really quick. See, but look, like look how much health is getting taken off by Espeon just by Shadow Rush. Way too much, in my opinion. Yeah, let me revive Miss Javius to use Pain Split. There we go. Cause I'm, I'm so hopefully there's enough time to switch him out and everything like that, and how Doom would still be, uh, not fainted. One, two, three. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, nice. These have been nice, simple catches now. After Melt Tank, it's no good. I might, I might be fired. Oh, yeah, you got that right. You might be. Huh, the only problem is now that the next battle I'm starting with Espeon and Ampharos both have low health. So, hopefully, this one is easy. It goes by quick, and it's not that big of a pain. But, you know, knowing my luck, it's going to be. Alright, come on. Get, get over to me. Walk over to your doom. I'm the last battler. I'll show you exactly why I was chosen to anchor our squad. Serapion stun, Sinaltropius, and Vileplume. So this might be our grass type guy. Oh, there's a shadow Pokemon. Tropius, the fruit Pokemon. Get it because his chin is bananas? <laughs> anyway, its stats are HP is 99, attack is 68, defense 83, special attack 72, special defense 87, and speed 51. It has the ability Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll doubles the ability barrier speed during bright sunshine. Tropius is grass and flying type. It's weak to flying, poison, rock, fire, and ice. Strong it's fighting ground and water, immune to ground, and he can damage everything. It's kind of a weird typing, honestly. You don't really see grass and flying together, but hey, Tropius, <laughs> you go. <laughs> you go, girl. Anyway, once it's purified, it learns four moves. Four moves. Synthesis, Magic Leaf, Fly, and Solar Beam. Yeah, Tropius, cool Pokemon. Never had, have I ever used it on my team, and never will. Sorry. So, for people who have a hard time finding Tropius, or even catching Tropius, and Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. This is a good uh, chance to capture one since it's right here in front of us. Level 49, Grass and Flying type. Cacturn, by the way, was Grass and, is Grass and Dark type. And then Vileplume, who we recently just defeated, is Grass and Poison type. So Paralyzing Tropius would be, make, it, ugh, make it a lot easier for us to catch. Um... He was using Shadow Rush earlier. I'm. I was kind of hoping he would still use it because I wouldn't have to worry about getting him at a like lowering his HP down. I might switch out with Quagsire and see if I can get its HP down lowered that way. One. Ah. Because I don't want to use Return on it because man, uh, I that give me a heart attack with Houndoom. I think Am Ampharos is too high of a level to um, uh, make it weak without making it faint. Mm. Let's focus on taking down Cradley really quick. Well, mm. 
I don't I don't want Espeon to faint it, and then all of a sudden Ampharos will attack Tropius. So let's just try to keep snagging Tropius. One. Ah. I was about to say, like, that would have been great if this would have been it right here. But, no, of course not. Oh, okay, no. Ampharos can attack it as well. Oh, it's going to be against Espeon, isn't it? Why? Why? Why do these... Why do they hate Espeon so much? Let me switch out with Quagsire. <clears throat> Quagsire knows the move Surf. It's a water move. It won't be that effective against Tropius. Let me see if I can lower its HP that way. Also, maybe Quagsire can take some hits while Espeon doesn't have to endure them all. Oh, okay. Nice. Fuck's there, love it up. You don't have to keep hitting Espeon. Quagsire is now on the, on the field. Let me heal up Espeon really quick, and then I'm gonna use Surf with Quagsire to lower uh, Tropius's HP. Let me try Yawn really quick. Let me see if that will work, if that would do anything. Nope, okay. That was a waste. Now let's try, let me use a timer ball. Because they don't seem to work, honestly, in my opinion. I've only captured a few Shadow Pokemon, even though like the turns have been going on forever, and it's just like, geez, let's go. One. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Alright, Surf, please don't faint. Ooh. Yes, not it's not very effective. Nice. <clears throat> yes. No. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that to happen. Whoa, that's a 10 level difference. How does that happen? That's what I don't get. How does that happen? The answer is it shouldn't happen. That's what kind of irritates me a little bit. It's like that shouldn't happen. That's a 10 level difference. Okay, great. So yeah, let's just keep trying to take it and then pain split. Before I use it, let me do a little more research on it because I don't want to faint uh, Tropius. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whoa, excuse me, my that was weird. But let me try capturing it again. One. Yeah, that's all my timer balls. I'm just trying to see it to, to uh, make sure what it does. Um, let's see here. Adds the user and targets HP and then shares it equally. All right, cool. So, mm. yeah, let me let me just waste an Ultra Ball. Hopefully, it captures it. Nope, not use Master Ball. Ultra Ball. And then let me use Pain Split. So hopefully this works. It should equal out the uh, HP and everything like that. Well, actually, no. It might give it more. Oops. One. Ah, oh, come on! Yeah, I gave it more. Great. What was I thinking? Use it on Mischievous. Mischievous. Don't use it on Espeon. Use it on Mischievous. Come on. Yes! Yes! Now you messed up. Well, actually, mm. 
You know what? Let's actually call for both of them. Let's see if we'll keep attacking uh, uh, Mistravius, because if so, I can... The health... Oh, come on. Entropius can go lower, lower. So keep calling. <clears throat> I know this seems like it's just wasting time or whatever, but at the exact same time, I don't... All my other Pokemon... Eh, not really the best. Oh, I'll take Shadow Rush, too. It's gonna hit Espeon. No, it's gonna hit Mistravius. Nice. Let me use an Ultra Ball. And call. One. Two. Three. Ah, so close! Alright, now that should be good enough. One. Ah, come on. Seriously, back to one shake now. One. Two, three, ah. One, two, three. Yes, finally, Tropius was caught. And now that's all the Pokemon from this tower, or from these trainers, I would say. The, this power, it's beyond unreal. I'm actually going to end the episode right here. If you guys liked the episode, make sure to give a like. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys on pretty much the story finale of Pokemon Coliseum in episode 41. See you guys later.